Hey everyone, Hudson here. I got another Power Rangers Mega Force review for you today. This is the Armored Robo Knight Power Ranger. So this is the Armored Might series, and where they're taking these these Rangers, or in this case, this robot Robo Knight, and they're giving them armor upgrades. So we've had a couple of different releases. We've had the the Mega Force Red and Blue Rangers, which uh, upgraded to Ultra Mode. We had the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, which had the Green Ranger Dragon Shield. And then also they recently released the Mighty Morphin White Ranger with his shield attached as well. So they decided to release a Robo Knight figure. And uh, as you can see, this is unlike anything from the show. Uh, he is not very robotic looking without the armor. Um, so they really made him look like a Power Ranger, as the name suggests on the box. Now, I will say this before I start this review. This is one of the more surprising reviews for me personally from the Megaforce line. Every now and then I'm going to get these certain Megaforce toys and I'm like, this is going to suck. And then when I actually get it, I'm like, this is actually not bad. And this is one of those. I actually like this thing. Um, this is coming from somebody who really didn't like some of the other Armored Might figures. But I actually like this. Um, so I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, but first, the box. So... Armored Robo Knight Power Ranger, you can attach the armor and then he becomes your traditional Robo Knight there. It does come with one power card, and uh, so definitely collector-friendly packaging in here. Uh, very nice. There's your uh, figure there. Three ways to play. Whoops. And da -da -da. the figure with all the armor. And then the back. So the back shows how um, there's a couple of different pieces. You have the, the main figure. You can combine some of the armor to make a little shield, so I'll show you that. And these are all the armor pieces that it comes with, as well as two additional uh, hands. So these are the other figures that I was talking about. So I've done reviews of them. Here's my review of this, and I do have a review coming up of him. I, d I already bought him. I haven't opened him up yet. But um, I do have all those reviews. And I will show a comparison of these guys as well uh, later on in this review. So yeah, 13 pieces of battle gear that it comes with. So let's get right to it. So here is the figure itself. And this actually looks really nice. I mean, the helmet um, is your, your standard Robo Knight helmet. Nothing has changed in this release for that. Um, but the rest of it is is not your traditional Robo Knight. He's like a normal Ranger. Um, so that's an interesting design choice that they went for. Um, I don't know who came up with that. That's definitely interesting. And they decided to put like these little gears and stuff um, right there on his chest, which is kind of interesting. Uh, maybe to show that's where his heart is, because he's doesn't have a heart. He's a robot. Um, but yeah, and, and in terms of articulation, he has your, your standard articulation for the other armor might figures. 360 degrees on the head, it can move up and down. Your arms rotate around, and uh, they rotate that much upward as well. Um, and they can also rotate around 360 degrees from here. Um, bend at the elbow, rotate around because they're on a ball joint here for the hand. Um, the actual upper piece moves, and the legs can move there. You have lots of range of motion on that. They don't move back, though, um, but you can bend at the knees, and the uh, feet can rotate around 360 degrees, the boots, rather, and the feet move up and down. So your standard articulation with the Armour Knight figure is plenty of articulation for, for posing. It does come with the, uh, the Robo Morpher, which is detachable. So there's the, the Robo Morpher. And uh yeah, so there's there's that. There's your your armored Robo Knight, or rather Robo Knight without his armor. Apparently that's what he looks like naked, in case you were wondering. So there's that. Um just a little comparison real quick with some of the other guys. Here's your Armored Might uh Mega Force Red. So he's done in the same muscular style. So it kind of makes him look like he fits in a bit more. I, I feel like the head, because they kept that the same for obvious reasons, is a, just kind of doesn't match as much. But the rest of it just kind of, um, it's, it's interesting looking. Uh, you know, he kind of seems like another ranger. And I have the, uh, the Megaforce Blue, but with all his armor and stuff on. So they're all trying to fall over. So let me try and see if I can get them to, to stand. And this guy here. So he has all his armor. Now all the armor is interchangeable as well. So here's the uh, the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, also in case you you wanted a comparison with him. Um, now my my annoyance with these armored might figures is the armor itself usually sucked in terms of staying on. This guy, 
I like the figures themselves. Like, I think this looks interesting. It's definitely a, a different type of design because they're very muscular and very stylized, almost like anime style, if that makes sense. They're kind of like, these are your stylized versions of the Rangers, and then you have your Megazord figures, which are the stylized versions of the Megazords. Um, if they ever made a Power Rangers anime, you know what they would look like. Uh, oh, and the Dragon Shield just fell off. So that proves my point there. The armor sucks. Um, it just doesn't stay on very well, and it's very flimsy. And uh, so the, the figures themselves look kind of cool. The armor isn't very nice. Even on the Rangers like this, the shield, or the shoulder parts, uh, it just popped up just because I moved his arm up a little bit. Um, it's not very, uh, it doesn't stay in. And these things get loose and it's just get annoying. It's just, I mean, it looks kind of nice to have all the armor on, but it just is not very fun. It's more frustrating than anything. Uh, the Robo Knight, however, I will say actually has some of the best like fitting armor that out of the out of the line um like once you put all the armor on him it actually stays on pretty well for the most part and uh so it's pretty nice in that regard um so the armor itself so let's take a look at that it does here's all the different pieces that he comes with um so lots of different stuff oh and actually let me move those away just for a second because i want to show the weapons that he comes with so he comes with his little blaster so no paint or anything, um, but uh, then you have it in sword mode. It just has red paint for the sword there, and so he can you know hold these as well. And they do um, they do clip on to to his belt here. So in case you wanted him to you know have his gun at the ready, but he's got his sword here. Yeah, you do have that that posability there. So pretty cool looking. Um, so there's that. The armor itself, um, I'll show you, uh, well actually, let me show you one other thing before I do that. The hands, just like the SH Figure Wars lines, they are detachable, um, so I can take the hand out of here, and you're left with a little ball joint there. So he comes with two additional hands, he comes with these two hands here, and they are, they can be used to, uh, oops, um, you know, for whatever poses you want to make, uh, but the, this one does come with, um, the uh oops i took off the uh the wrong hand i think um but uh he comes with the the little circle to hold the the morpher so i'm not going to actually attach that on i'm just going to show you what it would look like in the hand so it's got the little peg and if i can get it in like that so you can kind of hold the morpher so you can have him as part of a pose you know holding that morpher if you want so those are the two additional hands that he has um so, moving those aside, the armor itself that he comes with actually combines. Um, so let's do that little combination here. So we have all these pieces of, of armor. And so basically the way that it combines is you take uh, the leg pieces here and you're going to, oh, those are two of the same. There we go. So you're just going to connect them like so, okay, then, whoops, so you're going to have these two connect as well, like so, um, then, here's the part where they all combine, so you're going to take one of these sides, and the part where the circle is up top, and then you're going to take this little guy, and the part with the, uh, I just have to double check, the part where the ring is at the bottom, so this will go like this. And then you're going to take one of these ones and the uh, the pointy tops at the top. And it clicks in like that. So, okay. So this is the part that this is a little bit flimsy, just like the other armor. Um, but this is just kind of an extra little fun thing that you can do. It's not the, the main actual transformation. So I'm not too bothered by this being that flimsy. I probably would never really use this this combination, but so you have two of these now basically, and then you take the uh the little lion face there, and uh you have the little pegs that go in there. So this is the part that's kind of flimsy, because they're kind of both at a bit of an angle, so they don't both fit in completely properly. Like this top one barely goes in. You kinda of have to have it just sit in there sort of. Um, that's the only way that I've been able to, to figure out to get it to combine. Oh, 
see, like that popped off a little bit. So basically what you're doing is you can create this little shield for the Robo Knight. Um, so it's a fun little shield that he can use. And oh, that's actually the, the first time that I've done it without it causing too much difficulty. I hope I don't jinx that now. And then what you do is you take the little blaster and you stick the blaster in the little um, hole right there, little tip of the blaster, like so. So basically he can hold the blaster like a shield. So let me actually give him a hand to hold it with. I didn't put it back on. Okay. And then, uh, in fact, it might be easier to have him hold the blaster and then attach it. So here's your little shield. And... Oh, it just fell off. I'm not going to bother, like, trying to fix all the stuff and waste all that time. Um, yeah, that's... So there's your flimsy part, but he basically holds it like a shield, um, just to kind of get an idea of what that's like. Um, so honestly, I would never really use that mode that much, but it's it's a nice little uh, added feature, I guess. Um, but the actual transformation, the main thing for Robo Knight, uh, works pretty well. So that's the part that I'm going to focus on, because that's the main selling point of the toy. So let's get to that. And so the way this is going to work then, you have your, obviously, your, your chest armor here. So this goes in the back, and this goes right up front, and they connect into place like so. Okay? It's almost like he's wearing, like, a backpack right now. It's kind of interesting looking. Um, and then you're going to take, uh, you can do the leg pieces next. So, um, oops, trying to get two of the same. There we go. Those two go together. So we're going to get these guys to combine. Am I doing this right? Uh, hold on one second. I'm trying to get a little picture here just so you can kind of see what he's supposed to look like for comparison. That always helps me out when I try and transform just so I have it for reference. So you have your leg pieces that are going to uh, connect on like so. So basically, you're going to want to connect the pieces so that the silver is on the side and the little uh, uh, pegs are at the back. Um, so you have these legs here, so the ones with the, the pegs go on the back. And then you take this part and connect it like so. Okay. Then, oops, I'm dropping him again. Uh, we can do the... the um, arm pieces. So for this, you do have to remove the hands. Um, so there's that. Oops, now his chest piece is falling off. Oh well, I'll fix that in a bit. Um, now for these, you want to um, connect it so that it's not showing the little circles there. So it's not going to be for that side, so let's find the other one. So there we go. So it must be this one instead. So that's how you know which is for which side. Now you have to reconnect this back. I'm trying to hold the chest piece into place. Let's stop doing that. There we go. And then the other side as well. Slides on like that. Connect the hand and... Oh, I didn't connect it. As you can see, I'm not very good at this. Maybe that's why I don't like this line of figures in general. Um, there we go. Let's put back the, uh, the chest piece there. And then last but not least, you have the shoulder pads. So one side has the holes, so you want to put it on the side that doesn't. So you have the little clips on the side, which somewhat sit into the little holes there. Um, you kind of have to, there we go, push it into place. And there you have it. Here is your Robo Knight. 
So this right here should look much more um, familiar to you. You know, this is your traditional Robo Knight here. And he looks more like a robot now because of all the armor. Like, I feel like he wouldn't be able to move as well. You know, he kind of looks like more of a robot, I guess you could say. Um, and so he looks pretty cool, though. And the armor is, is pretty sturdy. You know, I can actually shake this guy and the armor's not going to fall off or anything. I can, like, flick it. The shoulder pad is much more sturdy compared to the other ones. Um, it's just overall a much sturdier figure. So that's a big plus for me. Because if I was a kid and I would be playing, if I built up this ultra mode or some sort of figure, I'm like, yeah, and then I pick it up and stuff falls off. That's going to, like, be so annoying, you know? So I, I'm glad that everything kind of st stays in the place. See, he fell down and everything is still in place. Look at that. Um, so that's a plus. And where is the, okay, here's the sword. So here's his weapons. Let's give him some of those to hold now. So, give him the sword and the blaster here as well. So yeah, you know, so in terms of articulation, when he actually has these pieces in, um, here's gonna, you know, obviously all his armors, that's the downside, it's gonna hinder some of the articulation. The knees pretty much aren't affected. The feet, um, not really. So the, the bottom part's not really affected. Um, the arms here, you can't move them outward as much because of the shoulder pads, um, but that's about all that's gonna affect that part. Down here, you can't bend them. The way that it's supposed to work, like this, having the uh, the silver kind of on the side, you can't really bend at the elbows uh, much. But if you were to um, loosen it a little and kind of rotate it like this, then you can, you know, bend at the elbow. So if you want, if you don't mind having the silver kind of in the back a little bit, you can have that full articulation again. But otherwise, if you put it like this, you can't really bend at the uh, at the elbow. But uh, otherwise, it's a really nice figure. You know, I definitely like this. Um, I think he looks cool. You know, I think as is without the armor, it was an interesting take on Robo Knight, you know, without the armor, and I think that looked pretty neat. But with everything on, too, I think, you know, here's your traditional Robo Knight, and he looks like a robotic knight, I guess. You know, like he's got all this armor and everything on. So I think it's definitely very fitting. Um, so I, I am a big fan of, of this figure. I think it's pretty cool. If there's any armored knight figure, like if you want to pick just one, I like this guy, personally. Um, you know, he's he's not one of your main Megaforce Rangers, and he's not Mighty Morphin, which, you know, nostalgia, yay. Um, but he's still pretty cool. Uh, he does come with an exclusive promo card as well. So if you are a card collector, you gotta get this this toy. So here is the promo card number 100. So Robo Knights is number 100. Pretty cool looking card. Uh, so there's that. So let's take a look at uh, all the fun stuff associated with the card. The sound that it makes and the uh, card scanner app clip and everything. So here's the Ghost A Morpher. Let's see what sound it makes. Says Megaforce Robo Knights. All right, on to the card scanner app. So here we go. Gallery mode. Let's see. A short little clip, but it's, you know, kind of neat to have. I like when they when they put clips from the show. Uh, that's pretty cool. So there's your exclusive promo card. And I think it looks pretty cool. I like this card. Um, so, yeah, everything about this figure is pretty nice. Um, I definitely am a big fan of it. So if you guys have any questions or anything, post them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, but that's about it. I will be doing a review soon of the Armored Mighty Morphin White Ranger, so I'll do a comparison with that. He's still in the, uh, in the packaging. So, oops, and I knocked him over, but eh, I don't know how I feel about this guy yet, so I'll have to open him up and see, and I'll do a comparison with that, so if you want to see Robo Knight compared with, with this guy, I want to open him up, stay tuned for that, um, but uh, this guy is awesome, so go get him. Uh, so, oh, and actually, real quick, before I do that, I totally forgot, let me do a little size comparison, just so you know size, I mean, I showed you the other Armored Knight figures, 
but if you don't have those, here's the 4-inch RoboNite. So there's that comparison. Uh, then I have the, uh, oops, the Battle Morphin um, RoboNite here. This guy. Um, and then I have the uh, sound effects one. So, obviously it's much bigger. So, really, I, I like the look of Robonite. As you can see, when they're all together, he blends in really well. He looks kind of just like the other ones. Um, so, really cool. Um, yeah, I might start a little Robonite collection. That'd be kind of fun to, to have. Um, but especially, you can see between the four-inch figure, they basically look very identical. Um, so, pretty sweet. So, yeah, so that's about it. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later. Go, go, Megaforce!